Hey, what's up, guys? The name is here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So in today's special episode, I got a special guest here with me. That's I you. am Chrissy. That's me. Uh, I have a YouTube channel called Chrissy Love. I've had for about a year and a half now. Yeah, so uh, the way I found came to Chrissy, I uh, was uh, looking for this p uh, female perfume that I wanted to review on, and I wanted to see uh, the, the, what the other girls were, were talking about us. So I came across your channel, and then I liked I like how you were talking and you, how you um, like the describe the, the fragrance, the perfume. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we connected, we uh, collaborated once together and here we are, we're trying this uh, stream yard uh, recording thing. Mm -hmm. So how's everything with you, Chrissy? Oh, everything's great. I'm yeah. here in Wilmington, North Carolina. I started off my channel when I was in Vermont, but I've since moved. And so I'm just excited to be chatting with you. This is so cool. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so uh, have you had any new uh, perfume pickups? Like any mm -hmm. new perfumes you bought? Oh gosh, yeah. I have, I'm constantly rotating. Um, I recently found a great find at TJ Maxx um, tea by Commodity, which is actually discontinued perfume. So I'm seeing that pop up in TJ Maxx these days. And um, though it's not a good fit for me, that's probably my most recent buy. Um, but I think that the one I'm most excited about recently surprised me, and that is Givenchy Irresistible, which is not a new release, but that's one that I kind of poo-pooed in the past as like kind of like a bit basic and kind of like, you know, a mainstream perfume, but now I'm just loving it for summer. So I think those are my top two highlights right now. <laughs> okay. And, uh, do you have a, what's your scent of the day? Are it is wearing... irresistible and i layered it with bath and body works watermelon lotion the layer it's all about the layering nima i don't know if you know this about us girls but it's all about yeah. the layering it's all <laughs> yeah and you have to use like a different kind of perfume special for layering you know you can do anything like you can layer perfumes you can layer lotions with perfumes which is of course really common um but no they definitely do not need to be from the same company or be the same perfume even like it's kind of fun to change things up by layering different scents okay so so yeah so um you just try it as you go right so you see how you try it on your like skin then you see if it works then you try it on your other oh yeah here. i've had lots of fails i've definitely oh. walked around smelling not that great because oh. I'm like, oh these two are going to go great together <laughs> it turns out they didn't at all but that's life that's how it goes <laughs> yeah yeah i gotta i gotta try it i haven't got around to larry yeah, it's a whole new it. world <laughs> yeah yeah it's an experiment yeah it's fun <laughs> yeah so yeah my scent of the day is uh this year's release uh polo blue oh Parfum. nice yeah this is i never i never bought polo like you know mm -hmm. they're like a you know they're like really um generic and they're really mm -hmm. simple right you can buy them at drugstores and they're pretty inexpensive. Yeah, so uh, so I was like, why not? I get the Parfum, I did the new release. So yeah, I like it, it's really good. Yeah, it has the cardamom in it, so it has some Ooh. freshness in it, some sweetness to it. So um, yeah, that was a good pickup. And another That's one, great. I have this other one I picked up that you probably might not know about, this is the Burberry Hero. Oh gosh, Adam Driver! This is the EDP version. <laughs> do yeah. you like it? I haven't, it I haven't opened it yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to do an unboxing. So okay, I'm lucky I haven't enough. Anything, then. So far, no one no has spoilers. No one has talked about it on um, <laughs> the, the YouTube. Well, it's new. It's always I, fun being the first. Yeah. So yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it on one of the. the it's kind of like a north it's not like nordstrom i think it's kind of like macy's here we have it's called the bay so i saw it online and i ordered it right away so awesome. i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing a video of it to after shortly after i'm excited Maybe. to see that because i have smelled it and i i've tried it on a man before so i'm excited to see what you think about it yeah this one has a resins in it i, mm -hmm. I believe benzoin they call it same nice thing. Yeah. yeah so I think it's more like uh, rich, yeah. rich, deep. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Just keeping it busy, mm -hmm. adding new. Uh, I'm at right now, I'm at 33 fragrances now with the bottle. 
and uh, and I have lost so many testers. I don't even know how many. How many? Probably <laughs> like thirty. Yeah. But yes. So I and I sell on Mercari things I don't use. I don't like to have my collection be above thirty. Usually, it it gets up to fifty, and I bring it back down usually at that point. But when I sell stuff on Mercari, I just throw in a few of those samples with every order, just to like get rid of them because usually I have way too many samples. <laughs> And people yeah. love when you do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I keep I keep decluttering. Like I use them. Mm -hmm. If I don't like it, I make like three videos out of it because I use yeah. it as like top five for date nights or I use it. Then yeah. I get it. And uh, I have made some connection with someone from like uh, someone I know that works in a department store. He gets testers and he sells me testers. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, what I bought a tester off him for like, that would cost like almost like $80 or something for like $40. Yes. That's you. I'm saying it in US dollars. Yeah. US oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's great. I just recently met a man at Dillard's. He has actually, I did a video kind of about him um, because he introduced me to the Thomas Cosmala company. I think they're kind of niche. And I had never heard them before, so I gave a shout out to him. He has an Instagram channel called Fragman63, I think it is. And so he's kind of my hookup for samples, and I'm going to go see him tomorrow, ironically. Oh, <laughs> but it's nice. great to have that person that can go straight to the source and get you the samples you need. <laughs> yes, yeah, and you know, fragrances are so expensive, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, and you want to buy them. People buy them by all the time, but it's not ideal. <laughs> yeah, until you get until you get some kind of deal, and you get that takes a long time. You have to have like hundred thousand subscribers or something. Yeah, for someone. Do I do I did have um a Canadian company send me samples? Ooh. It's called Persons of Interest. They make a unisex fragrance, mm -hmm. but um, I think some of them are lean more towards the, the males. Okay, and I feel like yeah. So my. My, I got like he sent me like four or five samples of the, and I tried them and then um one of my friends bought like the discovery set mm -hmm. he bought all of them so we we filmed like a 35 minute video awesome of, uh, of, that was that was my first long video I had I love a deep dive yeah we we just and it, you know what was so funny the video was one hour and a half so Free editing free uh, before editing so after mm -hmm. i edited it turned to 35 minutes and it took me like more time four different times to to go like go edit it because it was just so long like mm -hmm. it was just like too much yeah but you it was edit fun. It down. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's the fun part for me though i love the editing process i know you like that part too well, i love it you know what i loved i love the editing part more than like talking i like i like talking about fragrances but editing part because what you know what you're making you're enhancing your review mm -hmm. that's what you're doing you're mm -hmm. making it you're polishing up making it adding flair to it because uh you want to uh, engage the audience keep their eyes on it like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i use as b i use, I use a lot of b-rolls these days like mm -hmm. i got um I got this um so this soft box. It's like a studio. Mm -hmm. It's like a box. So I put my um display turner, mm -hmm. and then uh then I put on like slow mode. Then I Love film it. it different angles. I do it, mm -hmm. and also I I then 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 I'll slow it down even more. Mm -hmm. Then I use it as a B roll. Like I use it like I put on half of the screen, and mm -hmm. the other half of the screen. I'm right. Okay, I'm at like top notes, and I would write the, mm -hmm. the notes. Just I won't. I don't show pictures anymore. Just write it, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah, switch it from top, mid, and bass. So, so uh, is your turntable on a motor, or do you have to like manually turn it with your hand? No, it's 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 on a motor. I bought it for like oh. I don't know fifteen dollars from Amazon. Mm -hmm. you, it's a rechargeable, so I, I um just just charge it up and put on there yeah mm -hmm. do something different and it's a good way because of get yourself off camera right so you could uh mm -hmm. sometimes you can't remember all the notes yeah and you and like yeah like it's a good way to like read from oh, yeah. when i'm filming yeah. i'm reading off of my laptop for sure yeah i do not commit all of the notes to memory or even my analysis i mean i review i wear the perfumes in advance and yeah. write down all my notes on them there's no way I can remember all of that from memory just on the spot. So I refer to my notes 
whenever but the, i've seen i've seen comments not from my channel but other other channels are like mm -hmm. why are you reading me notes i uh, i could do that on for grantica well because it's helpful to have it in one place i mean yeah, I, i'd like I to watch one video and get all the information mm -hmm. and have to like have for grantica up on the side while i'm watching yeah. a review video <laughs> yeah it's it's you can never win with anyone because i had people <laughs> like I, I had a Dior Savage, right? I was doing, mm, I don't know, some kind of right comparison. Now. Then yeah. the way um, the way I put on the cap didn't look like it was like a magnetic magnetic cap. It looked like, then he's like, oh, it's a fake. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm like trying to find him where he is and go and like record a video of, of my bottle to turn. <laughs> I, I just want to make, I don't want to let, I don't want it to show that I'm making a fake, right? And right. There was one I did a street battle, right? And uh, all the girls hate that other fragrance, right? <laughs> Then I had someone who commented to me, is like, yeah, your uh, reviews are fake. I love this fragrance. Well, that's okay if you love it. <laughs> yeah, so... You, you're always like, going to get those comments, yes, but... Yeah, well, yeah. I, I've dealt with that before, and on my page, people are, like, 99% of the time very positive. And I think that's because I'm super positive. I don't trash talk things or any, you wow. know, you know. And so I think I, I get that in return. But every once in a while, someone does leave kind of like a snotty comment, you know, like, that's against me. Not personally against me, but that's like, I think you're wrong about this. And I don't respond in writing to those comments, I just give it a like and let it go. Because if someone's coming at me with negativity, there's nothing I can say to balance that. I have to just yeah. um, go on their merry way with that. Yeah. So. And then, yeah, you, you don't want you don't want to get in trouble with the YouTube because you know how they say mm -hmm. community guidelines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if I see something negative that, either I'll keep it and do what you do and just mm -hmm. like it or i just I don't, i don't believe in deleting comments i think you, you don't, should you don't think so mm -mm. i think you should i think that's disrespectful i think if i even if i was in a bad mood and i wrote something that i didn't really mean if someone deleted my comment that would inflame me more right mm. i would think so i'm yeah. trying to release the tension give it a like let them go and i, I haven't had anybody come at me with that yeah. i i, I would be hesitant to delete any comments I noticed there were some like spams. People come on and they're trying to mm -hmm. advertise that something. That you can delete, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they're, they're talking in Spanish. They're typing in Spanish. Oh, bless oh, you. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so, isn't that so? so yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to because your last video that you did, you were telling us, <laughs> I don't want you to say it. You're like, yeah, I'm doing something no one is doing. And yeah. then, uh, Yeah, I have I'm, a I'm series really... I want to do. Mm -hmm. What's that? I have a an idea for a series. So this is, this is not this, but in the past, I did what I called the head-to-head, -head, which was like putting one perfume against another one that was very similar to it, and then ejecting one from my collection, which I actually really did. And so I did, I think, 10 videos in the head-to-head, -head, yeah. and I posted them back-to-back. -back. So usually I post two videos a week, but I did those back-to-back -back rapid style. And so I'm going to do something similar, but with a different theme. So I'm excited oh, about exciting. it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know what? I love it when people try new things and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I know in the beginning when I started, I was just reviewing one fragrance at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you start putting like top 10 or top five or something. Mm -hmm. These are good for the date. And what I learned from you, the gifting guide. Yes. So, so I so I, yeah I, i thought about it i was like i knew about it but then i did one for mother's day but i was like there was like three days left to mother's day but then i was mm -hmm. like i did it but um for father's day i was a little bit ahead of the game mm -hmm. yeah so and it, it was good because i own the fragrances um men men fragrances i have some mm -hmm. for my fiance but mm -hmm. um there were some that i didn't have so i had to go uh, smell them then read on them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just to get myself but you know what i noticed the perfume because you wear like more i feel like the perfumes that it's not i never heard of like i mean mm. it's more advanced i don't know you know those ones that you name right not the Givenchy, but those other ones yeah. you um i definitely what? dive into niche and i don't know if there, there's also a 
there's like Sucre Bell and like brands like that. that I, I guess they're considered niche technically, but I think that they're more lighthearted and not really, you can't really find them in stores or kind of sold online or on Etsy. You know, I try to, to dive into those, but at the end of the day, it's about just whatever catches my eye and is interesting to me. Like oh, yeah. my channel is, is all about just what do I feel like talking about today? <laughs> Yeah, and no, I, the the perfumes that you put on, I never heard of them, and I like it. I love I'm that. Learning new things. I know I'm not the greatest with the perfumes, but uh, mm -hmm. I like I, I like it because they're they're really different than male fragrances. Oh yeah. Uh, male fragrances are they're very musky. They're they're very loud. Though female fragrances yeah, are loud and sweet, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's different. Yeah, but um. Yeah, yeah. I I have to curate my understanding of male fragrance a little bit more because i can't tell the difference between male fragrances as well as i can like if you put like delina in front of my nose i'll know it with my eyes closed but if you put sauvage in front of my nose i will not recognize it i'll be like well that's i can describe the notes maybe but i i to me the male fragrances blend together a little bit more and i think that's lack of experience that's not because they actually are the same it's just because you know it feels like with girls perfume there's like specific notes that are used more often like pear is really popular right now honey you know benzoin like there are certain notes that you can kind of pick out for me but when i smell a men's cologne i usually don't pick out the individual notes like that it seems like they're really well blended in a good way but it's like oh I, all i know is this is sporty or this is musk or this is you know more on the sexy yeah. side this is more date night i can describe them that way but i can't pick out those individual notes so well from colognes i think it's just a lack of experience on my do you, do, how do you feel about that do you feel like you can pick out individual notes from colognes yeah the you know the ambroxan and then the, the citruses mm -hmm. is very like or mm -hmm. spicy i I'm, I'm starting to get better at it because i'm yeah. right now I know in the beginning I told you that I was talking, I make it like a script, but right now I'm just like mostly just freestyling it. Mm -hmm. But but also I edit it, right? I cut mm -hmm. it and because sometimes uh, there's like a pause, but I make it more look natural. <laughs> but um, I'm not using the, the my board anymore, any of that. So, oh, uh, yes, your board. Yeah, I, 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 I have put that board aside. I haven't touched <laughs> it. Yeah. It's more free form now. <laughs> yeah yeah free form and uh, when i do my unboxing like when i do this unboxing i have one one goal right mm -hmm. so you, you can't screw up or well even if you do screw you could always fix it right but oh yeah oh yeah it's a, it's a one shot i could i can't put the seal back together so mm -hmm. yeah, and it mm -hmm. makes it fun because i had comments back but like yeah you did such a great job i liked it how you presented it mm -hmm. like, yeah yeah you are good at that and you're really great at the editing side for sure you always yeah, throw the, the editing is i feel like it's something um a skill new skill you learn like you go to school for it but mm -hmm. i didn't go to school for it i just learned it as i go Yourself. yeah that's great that's the I best know. way to do it yeah that's the great way so so wh what i know you're not really familiar with men's fragrance stuff, so what's your favorite men's fragrance what um, there's this great one by Nautica, Nautica called Life. I think it's Nautica Life. It's like this cylinder and it's light blue and it has like a fake wick down the middle of it. Okay. The, uh, and it has some kind of gold trimming or something? I think it has gold on it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of more fresh sporty, but it has this ozonic quality to it too. So that's okay. one I really like on men, not on me, but I like that one. <laughs> okay, you, that's the one that grabs your attention. So, so. It does, yeah. I, I, I was um, in a perfume store with my now ex-boyfriend and we were looking at, I was looking at perfumes and couldn't find anything I wanted. And he felt bad for the salesperson because I wasn't really buying anything, but I was using up a lot of his time. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, okay, well just pick one out for me then, that'll be easier. And we went through all these colognes and some were really expensive, really gorgeous colognes. And finally I was like, you know what? This Nautica Life is doing it for me. This is the one. He's like, are you sure? This one's like a hundred bucks more. I'm like, nope, this is the one. And I've been in love with it ever since. That's awesome. The Nautica Voyage is like the, their popular one. Is it? I'll have to smell that one then. Yeah. It's, yeah, I have so much compliments. It's such easy to go grab. And it, it costs like 20 bucks. 
And it, awesome. they, they say it's the number uh, one selling men's fragrances on Amazon. Really? Yeah, on Amazon. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, uh, and I, I I owned it once, but um, I never kept it. It just because mm -hmm. I got so many like fragrances, but that one, I don't know. It just it just felt too cheap for me. I don't know. Did it smell cheap to you? No, it didn't. It, it felt nice, but yeah. It was just too simple. It doesn't have that character to it. Yeah. Yeah, but right. it is you good. So many at this point, you ha are more tuned in now. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I have Basically smoked. Don't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that one's if you don't have any other one. Um. Let's see. Um. What's it called? Oh, is it called uh, Old Bay? What's it called? No, Spice. What's it Old called? Spice. Uh, Old Spice. I don't know. I can't. Old I always that one. Um, Old Spice, I think, is a classic that smells really sexy. The, the well. original one? Yep. Just like the drugstore body the spray. Drug. Like deodorant. Oh. Just the usual. Yep. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I, I smelled Old Spice a long time ago, but I think mm -hmm. it, the name says it itself. It's spicy. It's fresh. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. So. So if you were to pick um, men's fragrances, would you, you, so you would go for fresh over sweet? Mm, I would say actually, no, I think the more like spicy musk is what I would like to smell on a man more. I, I don't really like super fresh scents usually. Citrus is fine. Citrus is good, but I don't like yeah. too fresh. Um, so you want yeah. somewhere in like in between or something? Yeah, and I, when you say sweet, I think sweet translates differently for cologne versus perfume. Like in perfume, sweet can be like gourmand, but right. you tend not to see colognes that lean into the gourmand territory. But I'm actually on this um, fragrance Facebook group where people just all I talk about is fragrance, men and women. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot more men wearing perfume and wearing things that are sweet which is a nice change to see. I don't know if you have any opinion on that. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I have fragrance. I have a lot of the sweet fragrances. The new mm -hmm. one I bought is from uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's mm -hmm. the Le Beau La Parfum. Mm -hmm. And yep. it's, it's in, a, it's in the, that male bottle. I've seen it. Is that the, the leaf? The fig leaf? The, the fig, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bought the EDT version, but I sold that one. So I have the, the mm. Le Parfum version, and it's mm -hmm. really nice. It has that coconut note in it. Ooh. It's, it's really, I feel like it's like tropical -y. And it it smells like kind of like to me, like um sunscreen lotion. Ooh, okay. Not exactly like it, but it it, it has some kind of a twist of the, the, the sunscreen. That's interesting for a cologne. I like the idea. Yeah, it was very good. Um, and I put it on the street battle test. I put it up against another fragrance called Azor. You're familiar with Azor, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's called this new one. is called the Most Wanted Parfum, mm -hmm. and that's very sweet. It has like vin bourbon, vanilla, and like woody mm -hmm. notes. And it, mm -hmm. when you smell it at first, it smells like bubble gum. Like nice. Yeah. So it's it's very rich. It's very sweet so it's good for like the the colder water I think this masculine you think yeah it does have a little bit of masculinity but it's very like sweet like it i mm -hmm. think like females could probably wear it too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah the, um yeah i put it up against that one the the jean paul Gautier and the jean paul mm -hmm. Gautier one like it was a, ah. well, it was a clear win seven one interesting yeah so, you know, yeah. I, I saw recently that Michelle Germain has a sugarful line, which is extremely sweet. It's like candy. And I noticed I just put out a men's cologne of sugarful. And I am really curious about that. I haven't bought it because it's like 60 bucks a bottle. So I'm like, I'm not buying that just for fun. But yeah. I am curious about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's too bad we don't live close to each other. So I would have lent you. I would have made you like two cans and stuff. You probably can't even mail since I'm in the U.S. I'm you're in Canada. You probably can't even mail perfumes. Well, I don't know, um, because uh, I seen uh people that was just actually I think you know it. Um, you know, uh, there was this girl that Jeremy had on his her his video. Mm -hmm. Anyways, she started her own YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I, she had a giveaway and then uh, of the the office for men, 
and I think she shipped it. I think it was okay. in Canada or U.S. She was saying, yeah. So okay, yeah. I mean, I don't know how much you have to pay for like the duty fee because I remember mm -hmm. when we bought Office, when my fiance bought Office for me, it was like hundred and something dollars. I think forty dollars Canadian. Mm -hmm. So when we got it, we had to pay like thirty-six dollars a duty fee. Oh my goodness, I Canadian! I It'll probably be around twenty-eight dollars U.S. Wow, yeah. that's quite a premium. But but uh, when I get this one, when I get to one thousand subscribers, <laughs> I'm gonna do a big giveaway and like yes, um, I'm, I'm gonna do a full bottle and I'm gonna ask you to help me because uh, if I get a female, mm -hmm. I want to give a female perfume and if ah, I ah okay. Winner, and I gotta go re uh, look up to it because there's like a random picker thing it does. Or you could do something unisex. Yeah, yeah, unisex too. Like yeah, that could probably them. work too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The, I'm still far <laughs> away from it. I'm at I'm at 4:49. <laughs> oh, you! It happens so fast. It happens in the blink of an eye. You'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, for you, it, uh, I, it happened on your seventh month or something. I was like, yeah, I think you're right. I think it was. I but was, I was uh, posting twice a week and being really loyal to it. So I don't know. But I see some people who have like 100,000 followers and I feel like it just exponentially grows. Like once you have 1,000, now you're at 2,000. Now you're at 5,000. You know, it's, it's kind of jumps. It's like, a, it's like a fire, right? Yes. You're starting a fire. So yes. I'm collecting the wood. You are. So, so, so then it sparks. But then you get the other challenge of the hours. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know how it works. Um, so once you go into your 13th month, right? Mm -hmm. Does the first month of hours, does that get deleted? So what do you mean hours? Like they, they like you, the, hour, the watched hours, because you need 4,000. Oh, hours. Mm. I don't know. I only did it based on subscribers. I knew it was a thousand subscribers to monetize. And so oh, I knew yeah. that, but I didn't realize it was watch hours as well. Yeah. So, so yeah, you probably, you probably went, had a lot of watch hours, but it's, mm -hmm. you need 4,000 hours of watched hours. Mm, and that's okay. for some people, that one's more challenging for other people getting mm -hmm. the subscribers more challenging because people watch their content. Mm -hmm. And uh, what this guy with this, I had an, uh, this guy came on my channel yesterday in my live stream. He was telling me mm -hmm. these live streams help them get to being monetized because mm -hmm. the streams, I think, I don't know if it works right now, the minutes that we go on, but mm -hmm. um, like later on, because people watch it and like, I watch it myself too, because uh, you, you watch it, then you, you look at it from different perspective and like, mm hmm yeah and, and sometimes it gets ner and uh, you get nerve-wracking like right now we're, we're not live right mm -hmm. and when we're when we're live anyone could come ho hop on because yeah yeah because because you because youtube once they says people are watching it they're like promoted and i think mm -hmm. once you go 100 100 people in the in the room then mm -hmm. it'll, it'll like boost it up i don't no. know Oh God. You know, I honestly, I've never really played the algorithm game with YouTube. I just put out the videos that are of interest to me. If people like it, great. If not, they'll probably just pass over me and I'll never know. I, I've never yeah. really tried to play the game with it. I don't I mean, I probably am losing by not doing that, but I don't know. It's to just be honest with you, I, to do I, it. I don't really know it either that much. Like <laughs> I just see what's popular. Like I'll tell yeah. you what's a popular fragrance. I don't know if you heard of a Club du Nuit Intense Man. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it's in this tacky bottle. It's black. All the Club de Nuit bottles are kind of tacky. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's the Creed Aventus clone. So there's mm -hmm. so many flankers Is of it. it. House? What's that? Do they primarily do dupes? That house? Yeah, is everything is a dupe? It's a, oh, it's a clone. Oh, that's why. Okay. Gotcha. So so um yeah th that that one will get you a lot of views. Okay. So, yeah. So I post so uh. I get views, but it's not that much because other people who have thousand, if they put on, they'll get way more amount of views. But I put mine, I had like over 300 views or almost mm -hmm. 400. And like, mm -hmm. I think, I think a week and a half or so, which wow. is, which is a big deal for me because yeah. my views count. Yeah. So yeah. And then you, you never know some, you get subscribers out of them. I don't know. 
you just have to keep on trying there's yeah. so much content out there it's, it's hard to know how to capture someone's attention but i think it's just a matter of being yourself and mm -hmm. hoping that people relate to you and i think i follow youtube reviewers that i enjoy watching and that I relate to their opinions and that it seems that they're interpreting perfumes the way I am. That's important because I've, I've followed some people in the past that whenever I hear them talk, I'm like, oh, I totally disagree with everything you're saying. <laughs> like our noses are so different. So I prefer to follow people whose nose is similar to mine. So I know that I'm getting like the story that I would be getting with that perfume, if that makes any sense. Okay, so like, yeah, yeah. so many factors to why you would follow a certain person over another. It's, mm -hmm. And uh, are you uh, planning on like sometime in the near future try live streams? Gosh, I don't know. It makes me nervous. I mean, being here with you doesn't make me nervous, but I yeah. I so rely on being able to edit my content that if I like say something wrong or mess up, I can go back and refilm it. So yeah. like, I also really like the production side of things. You know, I like adding the pictures and oh, yeah. the titles. And I just think that's more effective and helpful. And mm -hmm. so the, the live streams I enjoy watching though, that I might consider doing are more like live Q and A, you know, where oh, people yeah, yeah. Come in and ask you questions or, you know, it's, it's not so much about being accurate in a review. It's more like an, okay, having an opinion, I guess, or having it be more about you than about a specific perfume. Cause I never want to steer someone wrong when it comes to a perfume, yeah. when it smells like, but so you, you never been on the panel, someone else's live stream before. Um, not with perfume. Now it might. Oh, work okay. Okay. Got you. So you have done it a different. <laughs> I have done it in my working life. I have a consulting business, so I do oh, yeah. operations okay, and yeah. event planning stuff. So I have done panels for, uh, for clients. Yes. Um, yeah. but I haven't done it for perfume it's pretty challenging when you're doing because mm -hmm. as i told you but um because I, I was uh, looking at the comments and someone was talking to me and you're like what mm -hmm. yeah, but, uh, yeah but I guess it's it's a learning curve and like and it's yeah. also you you could um find a way to like to like uh support your channel like to mm -hmm. give you money and stuff but mm -hmm. I noticed some people they use the Patreon, give me this if you enjoy it, and they mm -hmm. add like tears, mm -hmm. you'll get an extra episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots, lots of work for. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I have not gone that route, the Patreon thing. I have not done that at this point. That's. I think when you're asking people for money, you have an added responsibility to them, and I'd rather just keep it fun and be able to say the things I want to say and not feel like I, you know. I'm tied to a specific posting schedule. I mean, I've been posting twice a week ever since I started the channel a year and a half ago, but in the last month I've been busy moving. And so I haven't yeah. been able to keep up with that. And I, I put a, as you know, I put a video up explaining why I was going to be MIA for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I'd ever want to lose that freedom to kind of just take a break when I need it, you know? Like I have what? so much respect for people who just are off for three months and everyone's like, where are you? What are you doing? They're like, this is my life. I can take a few months off if I want to. Like, I don't owe anyone anything, you know? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. That's to me, like, I have to have that freedom. So. Yeah. You don't want to get burnt out and, like, mm -hmm. you want to keep enjoy what you're doing. It should be fun. Should yeah. Be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just keep it fun and it's exciting. Yes. For mm -hmm. me, uh, this, this, uh, every other day is good right now, but mm -hmm. it could, it could get, but I was working ahead of the game. Like, I was, Cup. It was one time I had like seven episodes ahead because mm -hmm. I went to El Salvador. Oh, for a week. wow! Yeah, uh, yeah. So I filmed one episode over there. I, uh, mm -hmm. I got my um my fiance's cousin to come on the channel, and we were outside. Nice. So we did an episode on that. That was fun. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So I didn't find anything on the duty free stores because mm. I, I was. I, th I feel like the good duty frees are in Europe. Mm -hmm. Then also the states have good duty frees too. But uh, okay. I, I think it's fun for testing perfumes. I think some perfumes get released earlier there mm -hmm. because yeah. it's in between country lines sometimes. But um, I don't know. It seems like their prices, like though they're tax free, you're saving like six percent, which is fine. But you, I, I'm a big bargain hunter when it comes to perfumes. I refuse to pay full price ever it's not happening ever. yeah so 
What I do, I go to the department store's website. Mm-hmm. Then I email them. They're like, "Can I get some kind of discount? I'm mm-hmm. a loyal customer." Because then they'll see my file, right? So mm-hmm. I shop with them. So I got like twenty five dollar, twenty five dollar gift card, ten dollars. Like, yeah. I think I got like probably like two hundred dollars off them. That's amazing. So and I always. For everything I, I buy, like from Amazon, if I'm buying from a third party, mm-hmm. I'll buy the thing. Then I go and message the the seller, like I just bought this. Here's my order number. Can mm-hmm. you give me some kind of discount? You usually they give me five to ten percent discount. Mm-hmm. So yeah, every bit every bit helps. Yeah. Every bit helps absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're not going to yeah. stop buying them, so you might as well find ways to make it relatively affordable. Yes. Yeah. So uh, are you uh, planning on later in the future to do a, to review some male fragrances? That's a good question. I think I should. Yeah, because I, I should. I'm interested because I, I watch some female reviewers, but um, mm-hmm. but it, it's good for because the, fe- the females they smell it differently. The nose, mm-hmm. it, it works differently. Yeah, I know. I know that. You know, it would be really fun. To pick one cologne and spray it on different men and review it. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, that's Wouldn't pretty. Wouldn't that cool. be fun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just have a lineup of my guy friends, have them all mm-hmm. wearing the same cologne. That could be fun. That's a little twist. Yeah, on. yeah, and it's a good, good, good something new to show mm-hmm. to the your audience. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, my my friends aren't as into perfumes as I am. I, it'd be really fun to review someone else's perfume collection. I would love to do that, but okay. I don't have friends that have real perfume collections. Oh yeah, yes, so, not yet. Same here. I will find Same. them. Yeah, I think uh, with doing the streaming, I'm doing it with Mister Smelly. I've been a lot of, making a lot of connections, but everyone mm-hmm. lives in the states. <laughs> they're, they're from Boston. They're from Miami. The LA, yep, yep, and there are some. There are some from Canada, but they're back east. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, for now, I'm just, I'm just uh, yeah, using it on my own and like um, seeing what compliments I get and like mm-hmm. what reactions. You're in Vancouver. What's that? You say you're in Vancouver. I'm in Vancouver. Hmm. I have a friend from college who now lives in Vancouver who has an amazing perfume collection, I believe. She she oh, talked yeah. about me once. I'll have to see if she wants to link up on your channel. She might. Well, she's she's really good at at um, performing, so to speak, in a good way. Like she's really like outgoing and good at you know being on the spot. And I wonder if she might be a fun person to have. On yeah, your for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm all I'm flexible right now. Yeah. My schedule's wide open, other than when I have to go for my treatments for my back, but. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty flexible, yeah. And I, um, what I like with this stream yard, I got, I got the, then I could collaborate with people. Like I'm doing mm-hmm. it right now with you, and because mm-hmm. not all the time people could come to you. And right now it's sunny weather. I've been doing mm-hmm. a lot of filming outside. Like nice. I haven't filmed the episode inside for like a couple of weeks now. So mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. using the 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 best light source, the sun. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and 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 I I like it because I when I look at my videos, I'm like, oh, I'm there, and this it just looks different. Like, it just uh gives it a different look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I got like great feedback from people. You're you're outside, and there was once I went camping, and Ooh. we went with a group of people, and uh, they had teen. A lot of them had teenagers, right? So mm-hmm. I uh I I interviewed like about I don't know how many teenagers, probably six or seven. Wow! Um, I put the this new one, this this one up against the new uh, Invictus uh, mm-hmm. Platinum. It's the new new flanker that came out this year. So mm-hmm. I put it side by side, and I asked them, I "Was like, which one do you like better, this and this?" So I got the teenagers' perspective because that's very cool. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah. And you were filming out in the woods camping. Yeah, well, it was like a campground, which actually okay. it was it was like a desert in Canada. I think mm-hmm. it was it was really hot because I was worried for my fragrances. Mm, that's a yeah. good point. Yeah. They, can, they can withstand a little bit of heat, but you just don't want to be continuous. That's all I think. Yeah, so we were there only for two nights, so I was glad. Mm-hmm. But um, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that episode, and it was fun. That's so I, fun. I, I looked a little bit scruffy because I had my beard a little bit was, mm-hmm. uh, but it was in the nature, right? So, mm-hmm. and, and I got I got this um mic stick, which mm-hmm. I put this um this uh what's it called? Let me show you. Like it, this thing goes on. This thing goes on the stick. It's front part of a rod accessory. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that went on it, and there's like a foam. Yeah. It goes on. Yeah, so, like a big mic. Yeah, so I have two two mics. Mm-hmm. So um I could put one on me and use the microphone put on them because ah, okay. before in the past, because you know when people do interviews and stuff and their speaker is on them, but when they mm-hmm. talk is not as clear. So I, mm-hmm. and I I did one a street battle on Canada Day and I had the microphone on my hand and there were like people just coming towards oh. me. Really? Yeah, so they saw the microphone. They're like, "Oh, I want, I want to get in on this." <laughs> they want the attention. They want the attention. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Oh, someone's Facebook messaging me. Let me turn this off. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're. I think we're reaching to your time. You said you have. To I know. Work. I have a bunch yeah. of work to get done today, but it's been yeah. really fun chat. It's always fun chatting with you. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Like uh, I even. I even talk talk about you when I go on my live stream. I know I was like, yeah, I know this girl, Chrissy Love. She has a female, and I'm like, yeah, because I'm. Um, no, I know it's, you more of that, more of that perspective, right? Yeah, yeah, and because uh, um, they ask me, how did you get into fragrances? That this and that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just talk to them about my journey, and, mm-hmm. and hopefully we. We'll, wants to do colognes and then maybe we could do some kind of a collaboration but like yeah this is my top this is my like this i wear this for this season that season or something mm-hmm. like that for this mm-hmm. for the date night casual day wear yeah so this is a good one we did i'll, I'll put the pictures up of okay. you know when you talk about the perfumes and stuff i'll put it up <laughs> make it look uh fancy and stuff yeah, go on there yeah so everyone i mean Please subscribe to Chrissy Love. I'll leave the, her link down in the description below. Uh, yeah. So and we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get together and then we'll collaborate. Yeah, we'll collaborate and, again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So to, uh, yeah. So thank you so much for coming, agreeing to come on. I know you're very busy schedule. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> well, so, you got me excited about filming some fresh content. So thank you. You're you're yeah. inspiring me yeah yeah and so so do you i, I like uh, even the the way you you talk it comes so natural and like thank you very nice descriptive way and like using the uh, like the your, your vocabularies and using because my english is not my first language so it doesn't come as like more easy like you know how you would put some work because there were some words you used i had to go look it up because i <laughs> I never heard it. I was like, Did you say you recorded a video fully in Farsi? Yes. Mm-hmm. So uh, cool. It, you know what was so hard? Um, translation. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I don't like the the doing it on YouTube because it's so mm-hmm. such small fonts. Mm-hmm. So I, I use big, big, bold, uh, bold letters. Mm-hmm. And it was really hard because translating. You don't want to translate everything. Mm-hmm. You want to. You want to just translate enough. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you want to make it like less to read, right? So right, right. And there was another time I did the street battle by the pier. Everyone said no to me, and I was like, I saw some Persian. I was like, these people are gonna come to me, but I gotta speak to them in Persian and Farsi, because <laughs> if I talk English, they will walk away. So mm-hmm. I-, I had to do a little bit of translating, but mm-hmm. I was told to do more episodes like that, maybe. It'll gain the, the odd, more audience, but mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do one if if I could do one with my family in Iran. Ooh, yeah, my, yeah. My aunt. I have a young aunt, and she's a she's very into perfumes and stuff. So if I could get, because my country they block everything, they have blocked oh. YouTube. So you need a special um, blocker mm-hmm. to bypass these things because the government is so corrupt. Yeah. So hopefully if she could somehow get through that uh, obstacle uh, mm-hmm. i do uh, do an episode with her mm, that'd be so cool to see yeah yeah well thank you very much chrissy again and i uh, look forward to talking to you soon 
Absolutely. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.